Hey everybody, it's Lynn from A Bit of Birdsong. I haven't seen you all in a few days and it's because I have been very, very busy. I wanted to share where I am with this springtime journal I've been working on. It is called Send Spring. I've put the letters on since I saw you last and I also put a coat of the Windsor and Newton gloss varnish and I love the way it turned out. Of course, I pressed too hard with one of the letter stamps, so we have a bit of a rogue mark there from the ink, but that's okay. I love the way it turned out. My friend Jennifer had sent me some wonderful art supplies, and in it was a container of some bright pink glitter paste. So I just randomly put a few spots on the front, rubbed it down in some places, left it thick in some places. You might be able to see the tiny little 2021 here, but all of this has been varnished over. You can see how much shinier it is than the back. The back is not done yet, but the front looks amazing. So this journal has the safety pin binding, which is something that I happened upon kind of by accident. I was looking for a way to bind a journal that I was working on a few months back, uh, I think back in November and December, and I wanted an open spine, and I happened to see a pile of safety pins. I was learning how to rust safety pins at the time, so it just seemed natural to use the safety pins to put things in and maybe t do a test run and then I thought oh I should just leave these because they're amazing. I do like this type of binding for something different. Um, how do we know if we don't try? I wanted to share a few charms that are pretty amazing. I think you can see this. Let's get a little closer. A beautiful beautiful charm. I do not know who made this because I found it at the scrap exchange, but you can tell that someone took a watch with no band, took the back off, and turned it into a tiny little beautiful shadow box or a little vignette inside of a watch. I love it. We can look at the binding a little while we are right here. This journal is not done, but I wanted to show you where it is at, at this current moment in time. I've changed some things around. She had a piece of fabric under her and I got some really dark uh, lines on it as I was trying to outline. And the more I added water to this, the more dingy that looked. And to me, there's a difference in grungy and dingy. It just really took away from the beautiful fabric. I'm going to add some fabric back in but I went ahead and just ripped her off of the page. And I actually like that look as well. You know, I, I layer as I work in a journal and I will probably come back. Jennifer, there's more of the glitter paste. So I will probably come back through to every page again, at least one or two more times. But I pulled her off of the page, cut all the way around to get rid of the fabric that was dingy, which made her stand up off of the page a little bit. You've seen most of this, I think. So an art journal is an art journal is an art journal. And I did want to have uh, a lot of these springtime colors. So I have pulled some of the paintings that were in my, my just plain art journal to put them into the handmade spring journal. And I have the word watercolor there. You can see it's faded a little bit that's all right. Under here we have some text from a book that was about a bird and under here we have this beautiful napkin from my friend Gracie. I love this and she sent me several napkins that have bunnies and I'm definitely going to put all of those in the springtime journal. Now I've put some ink on here and lots of water you can see that it faded into a sort of a sun, bright sunshiny yellow there. So I'm gonna add some things over each page to tone that down a little bit. And this is where I am in the process. That of course was from practicing with pastels. I am not crazy about working with pastels. Maybe I just don't know what I'm doing at this point, but I love watercolor and watercolor crayons. 
I like to write in my journals as I'm working through. That was a watercolor I did. I went ahead and cut it out. And you might remember this beautiful piece of an old art print. And I've started adding some trim. One thing I do with a journal as I'm working through it is to take an ink pad that I can tie the whole journal together with. So on my fourth or fifth time through this journal, I have started adding a lot of this picked raspberry. This is from Jennifer. She really, really blessed me with some beautiful art supplies. The pretty butterfly is from the Dollar Tree. It's just glued into place. Now here is another charm that I picked up from the Scrap Exchange. I have no idea who made this. Someone made it, you can tell. And doesn't that give you a lot of ideas? little quick pieces of hardware and electronic bits. There's just, there's no limit to what you can put in an art journal or a mixed media project. I don't remember where I got this frame, but it's covered in buttons, paper buttons, as you can see. And then here we have another charm that I found at the scrap exchange. some stamping, a little bird. And you can see I've continued to add that pink color throughout. I've enjoyed practicing uh, painting angel wings again lately. I have not done that in a long time. My friend Brandy makes the most beautiful angel art. So Brandy, I think about you while I'm working on these. I was thinking about a plaque that a friend gave me and it's shaped like a cross and it says one is nearer God's heart in a garden than anywhere else on earth and I do feel like that is true so I wanted to have angels throughout this springtime journal that's just a little tag I believe that's from this fabric that I used let's put the camera back on its little stand for a while. You can see the pink here. I love this. I'm not sure what I'm going to do on these pages yet. And there's another one of the little charms like I showed you before. More pink. Now I have thawing here. This, this uh, force of nature looks pretty stern and cold and scary. Uh, this feels like winter and it's what we all kind of get tired of when we want our spring gardens. Let's see. I don't really like this. Um, I don't dislike it, but I'm not sure that I like it in this journal. And you know, you know what I say, if you don't like something, perhaps it's not done. Uh, I may tear this out. I may put something over it. I don't know. It might grow on me. And if I add something over here or maybe add some more white to this, so this is not done. Um, there are elements of it that I like a lot, but then some things that I don't like. And of course, this holds the pressed flowers that we put in. And I do love these. Uh, you might remember this was part of a dress. And then I like this page. Uh, she's got her little monocle and it says, think. I'm thinking about the springtime garden, what I'm gonna put in my little greenhouse. I don't know what I feel about this page. I like the page and first this journal started out as mostly a color palette and I wanted the colors of spring. So I covered her up. I don't really want this sea or ocean uh, type thing to jump out at you when you get to this page. And I may add even more layers here. I wish I could go visit all the gardens. I'm not totally unhappy with this page, but I'm not totally happy with it. So I'm gonna keep working on that. I do love her. She is watching over the garden and you can see the beautiful guinea feather from my mom's yard from her farm. And then look at the stern she is the keeper of the flowers and the bees and the birds and all of those creatures in the garden. And I love this page. Let me cut these strings while we're here. At least a few of them. 
I love this. I was just practicing painting some feathers with just pure ink. And um, I love the way that turned out. I did use a, I think it was a fine tip Sharpie to put that mark in the center. I'm really wanting to focus on pens that do not run right now. It's funny how art is like that. When we practice every day and work in our art journals and watch others and get inspired by magazines. And speaking of magazines, I think it's okay if I say this. I don't know if you get art journaling, but I have something that's going to be in the spring 2021 issue. And I'm really excited about that. Um, didn't I mean, I was hopeful when I sent my work in, but I did not expect it. So I'm very humbled. And if you buy the art journaling magazine, just know that hopefully I will have something in there for the April 2021 issue. I'm still kind of pinching myself because uh, I won't believe it until I see it, maybe. It's kind of like when I had my fourth child. The very first ultrasound I had, I was told it was another boy. And then that same text said, no, wait, it's a girl. So the whole pregnancy, I, I had already had three boys. I just re really didn't believe until I saw that beautiful little girl and held her in my arms that it was a girl. Um, even my doctor laughed and she said, look at her. She, she has not believed me this whole time. And she handed me Michaela and said, it is a girl, it's a girl. So yeah, I will believe it when it's published. I do like this page. Um, this page is a little rough, but I like the overall look of it. And again, that's from my art journal. She looks pensive and maybe like she's contemplating springtime or planting or at least in my mind. There's another one of those little charms. Let's see, I've got to go get ready for work. So we are going to it's 10 o'clock so yeah and I have to be there at 11 so um, this page I'm still working on this we have another napkin here I may continue to layer I feel like there are too many colors maybe maybe not and honestly I don't know how many of you feel like this but sometimes once I see my work on a camera on a picture in a video I may say to myself oh that looks that doesn't look as bad as I thought it did. Or, or I'll say, ooh, that really clashes. I didn't see that before. I'm still working on these page, pages, these pages. I do like that she is sowing the seed. She looks pretty stern and she is the sower. She's putting seeds in the garden. She reminds me of the evil witch in maybe Snow White or something. I don't know who she's making me think of the mirror mirror on the wall person I think that was Snow White so yeah I'm still working on that and what else do we have okay more art I love her and I need to be careful not to let her get messed up it looks like I have some blue on her face already but that's okay this is an art journal this is for learning Here's a little bird charm. That is from the Scrap Exchange, again, in the broken jewelry. And I just put it on the metal ring that's holding the pages together. You all may remember this, it's okay to be mad. I crossed that out and put hopeful. And I do think we have a lot to be hopeful about right now. I love the way this turned out. I didn't realize the ink was running low in my printer. And when I printed this page, it ended up having sort of a pink or lavender hue. And I cut the bird out that was on the page, put some distress ink down and blew it in the shape of a tree sort of with a straw and just put the bird right in the center. And I really like the way that turned out. Still not sure about this, not sure about the back, but so far I'm just loving the way this journal is turning out. Thank you so much for being here, for hanging out. I'm going to run, get ready for work. I'll try to get this video uploaded today. Um, I hope everyone has a wonderful day. Bye for now.